Record on. Okay, Susan, we're recording this for you. Have fun. Right. And we're going to feel your feet really connect with the ground and lift your toes if that works for your body. And feel the big toe down and the pinky toe down and the, the left and right side of the heel connect. And then gently lower your toes. Roll your shoulders up to your ears and let them ride back down where God intended them to be, not where we often have them all day long. And then a big breath in as you reach your hands high and exhale, bring them back down by your side. So really feel your body be strong like the mountain, which is what the yogis call this pose, Tadasana, mountain pose. So you're steady and stable, strong mountain. So are you feeling like the Appalachians today? Are you feeling like the Rockies? <laughs> Are you uh, like a young buck like those Rockies? You know, they're not very old. Like, like little mountains. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then one more reach high and then exhale and dive for your tipsy toes. And look at me, I'm standing cricket on the mat. All right, here we go. All right, so find your four fold and um, got blocks if you want the floor to come up to you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, anything. And you don't have to use anything if you don't want to. <laughs> You want the fat ones or the skinny ones? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So just sometimes it's helpful, you know, to have something to, like, if the arms are too short or whatever, you know, it's all good. All right. Now we're going to do the halfway lift and lengthen thing. So you're going to squeeze your belly muscles and hands rest on the shins or the thighs as the crown of the head pulls forward. The belly tucks in, supporting the back. And that's kind of look like the, you know, the right angle there. And then you exhale and you come back down to the ground. Push your feet to the floor, bend your knees, send your hips back. And then breath in as you push through the floor and reach out. Reverse that swan dive one more time. Then you come back down to your side. All right, try that again. So breath in as you reach high. We're doing half of the sun. You come on down to the fold. Bend those knees. Inhale, come up halfway. Breath in, reach back down. We're building heat. And then push through the floor, send the hips back and reach up. All right, this time we're gonna do it. And when we do it, we're going to sit and shake the way up, okay? Big breath in and exhale. Find the full bend the knees to reach lower if you want to. Inhale, come up halfway. So hands on thighs or sh um, shins. Exhale, reach back down. Hips are back, push the feet to the floor. This time stop in the chair as you breathe in and find your chair pose. The baby bears sit in chairs. That's one of my sister's storybooks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take another breath. Push to the floor and reach up and down. And now we're going to do a full sunshine. So we're going to breathe in and reach high. Exhale, find your fold. Inhale, come up about halfway. Exhale, reach back down. And now you can go to your elbows or you can go to your full plank or whatever will work for you with a plank posture. Okay, so body is nice and long. The hips are in line with the back and the legs. Toes are under the heels. Wrists are under your shoulders. And you kind of puff up between your shoulder blades, if that makes sense. Like you really spread them apart. And you feel strong here. This is when people do those crazy things like mountain climbers. and Oh, we did the walking planks and the um, burpee thing. <laughs> like. Did we say we weren't doing burpees at work? Or this was somebody else who said no burpees. We're burpless. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now find your way to the ground. So you might put the knees in and then push the hips back, or you just might just go to the ground um, with your elbows, you're closer already. And then you find your bend in the back. So this is just a small um, arch for the back or what we call extension, right? And you're opening up the shoulders. And I'm probably not even on the camera anymore. We're down here on the floor, Susan. All right, hands under your shoulders, elbows into your body. Find your table, roll through your cow, through in your cat, arch the back, mm, roll through, drop the udders on the cow, lift the tailbone and the chin, and then exhale and raise that back up to the sky. One more time, find your cow. 
and your cat. Dig the toes in, hips to the sky for the dog. And get down with your dog if you want to shake your dog's tail from side to side. Bella is really glad to see you. <laughs> Was she ever? All right, walk your paws together of your dog. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, reach back down. Push the feet through the floor. We're going to stop at the chair. Yeah, I put a chair. Just have a seat. I'm going to sit right down, send those hips back further, write myself a letter. All right, now pull your shoulders back down, smile on your face, and then exhale, reach for the sky. Come on down. Now, take a moment to feel what that feels like. Are you starting to warm up? Is it time to turn the air on? Not quite. Not quite, but you let me know, okay? Sweat. All right. <laughs> oh, did you try this, baby? I thought you were going to cut it and use it. I haven't cut it yet. Me too. Okay. But I didn't know we need it for Oh, okay. Here. You put it over there closer. All right. So we're going to grind your feet into the floor. Take a big breath. Reach your hands up overhead. Exhale. Thought dive for the floor. Inhale. Come up halfway on that lift and lengthen. Exhale. Reach back down. And then walk back and find a second flank. <laughs> now. On this plank, I want you to think about how you can turn it to the side. So lots of options here. So some people put the hand in the middle, twist the toes to the side and reach high. If you're on your elbow, then you can put your knees down and reorganize yourself and twist no, high. That ain't working. But you also can just do, okay, you, and you don't have to do this at all, but another option is put the knee in the middle of the mat one hand towards the short edge, one leg towards the short edge, and then reach up. And that's like one option that's a supported option. And how's that work for you? Yeah. And you really feel like that hip point is being pulled up to the sky with some fishing line. And you're really wide open in the heart and the chest here. And breathe. So you can look towards the sky or you can let the neck rest, whatever is right and good. All right, the hand that's high reaches just a millimeter more to the ceiling lights. Don't dump into that arm that's pushing into the floor. Really lift. And then come on back. Now, everybody say what side that was. Was that your right side or your left side? Your right side. That was your right side. Okay, here we go. Find your dock. Walk your paws together. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, reach back down. Inhale, push to the floor, find the chair. Push the hips way back. Work the quad muscles. Tight fits. And then breathe in and reach up, break the air with your fingers. Come on back down. We do it one more time. And this time when you do the plank, you do the opposite side. So I think that sounds like the left side for us. All right, inhale, reach your hands high. You're working up warm. Everybody warming? Exhale, reach back down. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, reach back down. Walk back and find your plank on the other side. So this means maybe put the knee in the middle, hand near the top of the mat, lengthen the leg and reach this hand up high. Tickle the ceiling, lengthen through the, oh, the chest. The chest is nice and open here. Don't forget to breathe. Sometimes when we do hard things, we start to hold our breath. I do it all the time, but just really counterproductive because you need the breath to do the hard thing. And if you think about breath as like when God made people, right? He breathed in the spirit. You definitely need the spirit to do the hard thing. All right, one more breath in, one more breath out. Find your way to the down dog. Press your heels towards the floor to walk the dog. All right, then take the toes as close as you can together and then look at your spaces behind you and around you and then breathe in as you lift one leg up like the tail of the dog is stretched. Breath in, breath out. Pull that leg back down where it was. All right, find the weight in both feet and then set yourself up to try that on the opposite side. 
put your um the big ten mount and the pink tin like you put your foot in a Barbie doll shoe. You know how it's like that permanent. All right, and then come on back down and through and walk your paws together of your dog's down. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, reach back down. Push the feet through the floor. One more chair. Sitting on Santa's lap. Ask him what you want for Christmas. Keep breathing. Those muscles are firing, activating. It's a good thing. What'd you say? Blood flow, dopamine? Dopamine. <laughs> Reach up high. Come on, back down. Take your feet as wide as your mat and then gently twist your body from right to left. You can come up on your toe with your twist. Knock it on heaven's door or some people call this milk. All right, take your hands to your shoulders and park your feet so they're nice and wide. And twist your body back and forth with an inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And then come back to center. Are you dizzy or are you okay? Okay, breath in, breath out. And then do it the opposite way. Breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out, breath in. It's called helicopter. And where do you think it's working? In, in, out. It's working on biceps. There you go. <laughs> Two more. And rest. Find your Eiffel Tower. Be nice and tall and strong. If there was a big wind or a big push, it wouldn't knock you over. All right. And then take your toes to the long side of the mat. All right. Take this uh, uh, legs a little bit wider if you can. But, I mean, you want to be able to walk out of here, so don't do anything. Like you can't do that, right? Um, but I always get cracked up. I was telling the group yesterday that the... the um, the yoga teachers that I go to for therapy training, they always say four feet between your ankles. And I'm like, like, really? Are you looking at like people that are not five feet tall? Like, are you thinking about that? Like, I mean, you can't say something like that. I mean, how about take them as wide as it can? I don't think like for your feet. I'm going to ask that. Because I'm saying you're thinking right now, four foot. Yeah. They're like, what? But see, what they want you to do is get more in the adductors of the flags, like, you know, but I mean, there's there's got to be a, <laughs> take your um, fist to your hips, find your power pose. So you're channeling your inner Wonder Woman or your inner Superman. You could do hard things. You've done hard things. The next time you have a challenge, a hard thing to do, you can remind yourself you've done it before. All right, take the crown of your head forward as you send your hips back and hold your body parallel to the floor. Pull the belly up muscles in to support. Feel your legs fire. And then take one hand towards the block or the floor and reach the other hand to the sky. Again, we're stretching through the heart. Hips are back. Keep breathing. You can do it. Keep the weight in the four corners of the foot. So don't let your legs, like, you know, your feet sit go in or sit go out. Now, the hand that's high comes low, and the hand that's low comes high. So you just do your twist the opposite way. Breathing in, breathing out. All right, the hand that's high comes low. And now you're walking your hands to the right side of your mat. That doesn't matter. You can go either way. But you're bending that knee and you're stretching through the length of the stretched out leg, right? So it is getting the adductor muscles. Again, use your tools to help you. If you need the ground to come up, come on over here. Send <clears throat> the hips back. Keep the weight in the four corners of the foot. Breath in, breath out. And then walk your paws over to your other side. Bend that knee, if it will bend. And stretch long through your lengthened leg. 
Yoga is about creating that space. So things get all compressed as the day goes on, tight, with tension. Your body is so much more than just the physical self. You've got the thoughts you've had today and the feelings you've had today, how much water you did drink today. You know, like it's all these things, how much sleep you got last night. People get backache sometimes just because they had a fight with somebody, right? You know, like, I mean, your aches and pains sometimes have so much more to peel back and work through. All right, come on back to center. Take the fists back to the hips. Be long in that torso. <laughs> and then just see yourself float the upper body up. Right? And then heel toe, heel toe, your feet together. All right, and breathe your wings up and breathe your wings down. Breathe them up and breathe them down. All right, take your blocks back up to the front of the mat. And let's do a sun salutation to keep the heat in our bodies up. So we're going to breathe our wings up. We're just going really fast through it. So we're not going to linger in plank. All right, we're going to be here for full. Inhale, lift for the halfway, lift and lengthen, exhale, reach down, walk back and find the plank, lower the plank to the floor, however you want to get her done, and then find your little bitty snake or your sphinx pose. You could stretch arms out if your back says that's okay. It's okay if not. You can also put the weight into the hands and in the tops of the feet. So that looks like this, all right? And that's another way to get her done. You can roll through now to your table and then your down dog. Walk your paws together as a dog. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, reach back down. Push through the floor, skip the chair this time. Bring your arms up. And exhale as you take your hands down by your side and just feel the mountain. How's it feeling? Mm -hmm. Is it strong? Is it weary? Last night, it's weary. Scratchy. Okay. Did she work you last night? Oh, we had we to. We worked. We had to clean up one tree. We have another tree to clean up. Oh, wow. in the really big front tree in the front yard. Yeah. So last night we were. Yeah. Well, y'all got to work out the then. <laughs> That's what dad, my, my pop pop, he always gets on to know it. He's like, why don't you do something functional? Why don't you don't go to the gym? Just get out in the yard. <laughs> well, he wants Come over to the house, we'll put them off. Yeah, exactly. And you know we do it too. You just need to just need to direct them one. All right. right. So you're gonna take your legs wide on this side. All right, we did our power pose before. This time we're gonna do our star pose. All right. Breathing in, breathing out. Just pull those shoulder blades together. So that's that right back here, right? So from the pitch toward the middle, like we're trying to go to tennis ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's like the W T forty thing. What do you call that thing you just got for taxes? And you really gotta give it to the tax man. You can't let it. Hold on to it. All right, you gotta get it in Scott's file before it gets away. All right, then twist to the outside of our circle, but keep your um your legs in the same place, right? Don't let them swing around with you, and then fold. Mm -hmm to the block, to the floor, and then reach the arm over the ear out in front of you. And then pull that arm back up to the ceiling, set the feet, be strong with the legs, meaning that all the muscles of the legs pull to the bones. The belly pulls in, the bum is tight as you breathe in and support the back on the lift to the twist, and then you come back. All right, this is the Twinkle Star series, all right? All right, so you can then twist back to the circle. So you're just going the opposite way. Fold the star. The arm that's high to the sky reaches over your ear. So, you, and you might even want to push your hips back a little bit. You can get a little stretch in your leg. Weight is even in the feetsies. Bring that upper arm back to the sky. All right, squeeze the muscles really tight. Just protect the back as you breathe in and lift to the twist. All right, and then untwist. Okay. Two more times? What do you think? Okay, here we go. And you tell me when you need air. Twist the body. Exhale, fold the body. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lift. 
breath in and push everything to the floor and squeeze the muscles as you come on up. And then exhale as you untwist. One more time to the opposite side. Breath in, twist. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach. Push the hips away. Exhale, lift. Big breath in. Push through the floor. Squeeze all the muscles to the bones of the leg. And reach. Find your outbound power. Breath in, breath out. And then heel toe, heel toe, your feet together. Come to the top of your mat and breathe your wings up. Then exhale and down. And breathe them up. And exhale down. Now, are you nice and warm or do we need to do another sign? I'm good. You're good. Okay. All right. So one foot forward, one foot back, and we'll find your warrior one posture. So warrior one posture, they're, the warriors are all postures where you're breathing, balance, and stretching, and strengthening all at the same time. Are you a hero? All right. We'll get her done. Knee over ankle. Leg back can be toes at, two, at 10 or 2, depending on which leg is back. And then you're going to breathe your arms up, and you're going to get those biceps by your ears or pull the elbows down and roll the pinkies towards one another to help the back. Um, shoulders relaxed down the back. All right. So I always think with a warrior and hero, like warrior hero are the same words in um, yoga um, language. It translates the same. And um, I always see about Jesus and how they thought he was going to come in on a horse and he's going to the Romans, right? And how the picture was so much bigger than even that they could wrap their brains around and how what is it that we can't figure out right now? You know, that the picture is so much bigger than anything. All right, now you're gonna see yourself fly the warrior. So we're going to warrior three from warrior one. So we're gonna put the weight in the forward foot and the wings can go out to the side. The back toe can remain touching, or if you feel like you can give it a whirl to balance it, you put a footprint on the space behind you. Breathe, every time you wobble, pull the tummy in. And from here, we're going to lift that tail feather of the bird up to the stork pose. And yeah, touching down and resetting is all good. Relax your shoulders, corner of your mouth, go up to your ears. And then you take the foot and cross it over. And do your banana stretch from one side, okay. crescent, shape, oh, good, and then the opposite. So we've got some side work here with the side to side with our bat boom, stretching side to side, twisting right and left, and then we've lengthened, and then come on back to center, and then just walk down wherever you can walk down. Maybe you want to get that block out again. Maybe you feel a stretch in the leg that's behind. Shake your head yes or no so you're not doing the tension in your neck. Hopefully the work is not supposed to be there. And then walk your hands back up. up, up, up and uncross your leg. And then take a moment just to notice if you can feel the work that just happened in one leg versus the other. There's not a right answer. <laughs> if you don't feel it, it's all good. But if you have one that's like, yeah, this, you know, like, then that's cool. That shows you that you're doing good first stuff. All right. Opposite leg goes back now for warrior one. This is my knee that does the funky stuff that makes Micah go. Loo. All yeah. right. So, yeah. I could do because it sounded painful, but I'll get it. I've seen gross stuff. Yeah. yeah. All right, anybody who's had a baby has seen gross stuff. Yeah, there you go. All right, so the knee is over the ankle. And so what you really want to try to do here, like be very intentional and not let the leg fall over one side or the other, because sometimes that thigh muscle, you know, is tight and does things funny. All right, so this back leg, the toes are at uh, 10 to 2 again. Reach the arms up. Belly button is towards the front of your mat. Hips are square. If your belly button is pointing there, your hips are there, right? This is getting a big stretch in all those muscles around the joint where um, your ball of socket joint here in your hip, the hip flexor muscles are several of those. Again, relax your shoulders if that feels like elbows down, find your goal post. 
All right, were y'all surprised about football or y'all even watch that? Yeah, you know, Jay was not, Jay was pulling for the teams that didn't win. He wanted the underdogs to get in, yeah. But they didn't, they didn't pull it off. All right, they're fly on that leg. So feel your weight go into that forward leg. Again, you can hold on to the floor with the back toes if that feels better to be grounded today with your bird or if you want to lift the tail feathers or the tail of the plane or the stinger of the honeybee, whatever you want to pretend to be. <laughs> Say to yourself, I can do hard things. I did five hard things before breakfast. Breathe and make sure you breathe and touch down and get back into it as you can. One side is often more strong than the other. So <laughs> just notice what you notice. Don't judge. Now this time your shoulder blades are pulling away, right? Yes. Yes. Lost that W2. You have no idea where it is. All right. And then you're going to feel yourself come from the tail feather up to the stork. Fight for it. He needs me to work him over here. <laughs> All right, now cross over. Oh, I tell y'all more stuff. All right, and then this is the side stretch one part. So um, I got to go uh, walk with my advisor on Friday. He's from Atlanta. He was going to Breville, so I drove up to meet him. And um, and so this is just like he said, don't say anything. So here I'm telling y'all. So, um, but there is a possibility. There's an opening in a job that was all for boundaries and inclusion for Region 9. So that's doing the training that is like, you know, basic training, but then it's like uh, LGBTQ and um, that's one session in the racial injustice. That's another like, okay, come on down. Wow. So it's, it's like you're made for it already. Well, you think it feels really good because here's what he said. We can do half-time boundaries and half-time boundaries. All right, come on down. Find that stretch in the back of the legs. And the neat thing about it, why it feels so good too, is he put me on that committee last year to write the curriculum that we did last year. So I got to be a part of it as a committee member last year. That's cool. All right, walk yourself back up, uncross your legs, and let's work a tree. Okay, oh, but let's find how you feel now. What do you think? Are you more even? I'm off balance. All right, we do this, we do, you're off balance. Okay, we're gonna do the tree and then we're gonna get to the ground, okay? So if you wanna hold on to something that's not moving, you can hold on to a wall, a chair, to a ball or something. Um, or you could do it on your mat or off your mat. A lot of people like to do it off the mat because they feel more connected to the carpet than they do on that, just that, even that little bit of rubbery, you know, material. All right, so, um, Feel the foot, start with the weaker leg. The leg that was harder last time, start with it, okay? You, you figured it out, all right. So, and then find, again, you can put this one wherever. You can put it on top with the heel on top or hold it to the side. Um, you can come up the leg, wherever. Find the thing not moving across the room, touch down as necessary. Hands can be on the heart. Branches can reach to the sky. Shoulders, squeeze the belly. Oops. Hello, Mr. Tin Man. Do you have a heart? Oh, it's grandma's on her porch. It sounds really fun when you're hitting the drumstick. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not beating him with a drumstick. We weren't beating. We were we've done it before. All right, hands that are high, come on. The leg that comes down, and go ahead and shake it out this time. Doesn't that feel good? <laughs> my, um, one of my teachers said, no, don't shake it out. You need to feel that discomfort, and you need to sit in it. Like, and I'm like, let's just let go. <laughs> well, no, you know, I get what she's saying. Like, you don't want to run away from hard things or, strong, or things that feel uncomfortable, but I think we can let that tightness go. <laughs> All right. Reach the opposite foot in. Again, this should be the foot that feels or the leg that feels stronger. A lot of times whenever we do the second side, we just naturally don't hold it quite as long. Like, you know. <laughs> and this is what I have um, kiddos do the um, Lord of the Rings trees, like they start hopping around. <laughs> 
I'm like, no, not with the hobbits. You said we feel, and the trees are like hop, hop, hopping. Or it looks at me like, you know, why can't you see his tail? All right. Arms that are high come low, the leg like that's up comes down, and shake, 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 and find your way to the map. <laughs> yeah. All right, take your knees nice and wide and find your child's pose. So you can um, use a prop to support your head as you reach your hands towards the top of the mat. You can also take your blocks if your hips um, are hanging there and your legs are really tight and the muscles are tight there. You can put the blocks behind you and then support that, the hanging feeling there, right? Give it something to rest on. And breathe. So anyway, so be praying because that would be the middle of February. So uh, that they might know something, but it's, you know, it's all, it, it may or may not be something that they may not even, like since the person like, you know how they sometimes just do away with the position yeah. instead of hiring somebody. So it may be one of those kind of things, too. All right, push to the floor and come on up and find that cow and that cat again. Except this time, just play with it. And when I mean play with it, like as you drop the cow and you roll up to the cat, Maybe you can drop and move to the side and up as an angle. I don't know. Just kind of let it move and find places that are sticky. You know, something that hurts and then push a hip back. So just go back and forth with the spine, which is lowering and then lifting. And then, like I say, work hips. Um, some people even drop and go sideways here, you know, like rolling your cow. Rolling like the river, rolling. No, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And dry both ways. But like I say, it's a chance to stretch through hips and low back and get places that maybe are tight. Mm -hmm. All right, come to your sits bone. So find your seat. And we're going to get a strap. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to work the um, boat pose. All right. So the boat pose is all about finding those bones in your bum. Okay. And connecting to the ground with those and kind of balancing on those bones. All right. So there are several ways to do that. And just get off the bus wherever it feels right. But you can sit up with your um, hands behind you, knees um, lifted if that works for your body. Right. And then you lift up. So that's one way to do the boat poses. You're finding those sit bones and if you have to move some, you know, body to find them. It's all good. All right, and that's where we're going to balance on. So this may be what we do, because the important thing to do is never um, give up the integrity of that long back, right? If you start to curl or something, just stop where you are, because you don't want to, you want that long, you want the length, that long back. All right, reach under your um, knees. Maybe. That will work for you. If it won't, it's okay. If I remember right, though, is you're eventually feet up off the floor. It's, yeah, I'll stay. You stay right there. Long time so I did both. But you remember? Yes. Okay, so you find that and yes, the next step if you want to ride the bus further, but your route may be done. All right. And you <laughs> lean back and you hold. Now see if you don't want to see I start to curl, you want to keep the, the lift right here. And then you lift here. Mm -hmm. And then Miss Connie lifts her legs straight out. No, can you show Full you that? Power that woman. Nah, nah, it's Connie. It's Connie. I was like, you go, girl. And that's, uh, and, and then if you do it really low and long, it's canoe, right? Yeah, so you row, row, row your boat. Down the down the stream, barely, barely, oh, yeah. barely, barely light, but a dream. Yeah. All right, put your feet work. down. And then you can take your uh, strap around your legs to pull in, or you can squeeze in, but that releases the muscle in the tummy. Okay, now try this. All right, so now we're going to take our uh, strap underneath the um, the big toe mound, the pinky toe mound, right? 
And now we're going to see if we can push it through and lift it in balance. Ooh. How is that? Mm. What you know, is that a good mm, or that a mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> and again, you can bend the knees. What about bending the knees, Michael? Would that work? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got you got a nice long back. That looks good. Oh, one more breath. That muscles relax, screaming. relax your shoulders too. Oh, they're screaming. Yeah, it's okay. Well, well it's okay. they'll be able to get out of here. I don't have Look, any chair up it ain't, here. It ain't tonight. It's tomorrow morning when I go get out of bed. Me and Bella lay there going, ah, oh, it feels so good. I don't want to get up. <laughs> All right, I did yoga. It was good for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so now you're going to cross one leg over the other. And you're going to put the tie underneath those um, toes again. You're going to hold it in one side. All right. And then you're going to lift it out. And then lean over to the side. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to... Hi, girl, whatever you want. <laughs> Rope your pig, right? Woo! So you get the side twist to the boat. Oh! Breath in, breath out. Susan, are you having fun? All right, and then come on back down. Take your tie off and let it go. Wiggle, wiggle. Notice what was going on top because you got to do it the other way. We don't have to, but. What do you think? <laughs> we don't want to be any. She's got to muscle that and use me forever. Makes a giggle. Well, that's right. You see, laughing is, they actually make laughing yoga. Well, they do. It's supposed to help you be strong. Of course. <laughs> all right. I said we do laughing yoga. I said we do that all the time. All right. So you got your opposite foot crossed over. You got a lasso on the other side. Again, we're working side a little bit with this crossed over leg bit. And you're holding it in one side. Legs are extended and you're whoop. Yeah, I'll get on this side. Oh. What is it, eight seconds? How long do yeah, you have? Yeah, <laughs> and you can roll both ways. I feel more like a seesaw. <laughs> All right, lower. Let it go. We are done now for sure. And then take your hands back there and take your knees and let them go side to side. Or you can take your hands as wide as the mat and let them fall in. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we could do the pigeon pose back. Mm -hmm. Remember, do we like? Did y'all like the pigeon? Do we do it? We did it this way, didn't we? That's the leg, but yes, that's how. We yeah, do so you way. can do it this way, um, and you can let the leg be long and do it that way. All right, but the idea is you're stretching the hip. So um, another way to do that is to to lay the weight on the hip, so the knee goes to the top um, corner of the mat, and you lengthen this leg back. And that weight can be another way to stretch. So just and you can lay on your back. Yes, yeah, glad glad you lots of options. So you can find the way that feels right for you. Do you feel it here? Mm -hmm. Do you feel it there? A little bit. A little bit. Where else do you feel it? On the outside. Yeah, the outside of the hip, right here. So it's stretching those muscles that we worked when I were doing hip flexors and stuff. Mm. And breathing in and breathing out. Yeah, and with little kids, we like pick it up and we rock the baby. Yeah. <laughs> one day. Maybe yeah. not baby Jesus. They'll, uh, <laughs> one, day I'll, one day I'll get there. Yeah. And then when they send the ambulance to pick it up. <laughs> well, sometimes I can stretch somewhere and I shouldn't because I don't have the strength to do it. I just have loosey goosey joints, you know, so that's not. Just because somebody can move like that doesn't I mean it's a good idea. Right. <laughs> so when you're ready, you just work your other side. And and however you want to do it, like my face on the back is great. And pulling that knee towards the chest and feeling that stretch and like Andre said in the outside of that hip joint. We have got to do things that increase our strength and our glutes and our hamstrings and, and and because they're all out of whack with not with sitting so much with our lifestyles. So things like the tree pose are awesome because they improve the strength of the gluteus meat, but you know, the middle one, you got the minimus and the medius and the maximus. What? 
That's worse. Your glute, your glute muscles. You got a gluteus maximus and a gluteus medius and a gluteus minimus. <laughs> All minor gluteus max. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, um, take um, your knees and stack the knees and let them roll to one side as you let your arms go out in a T-shape, like a Texas T. And then you look away from your knees just to feel kind of a, a, a ringing out of the wash rack with the middle of your body. I think I was telling y'all, did I tell y'all that I did that with kids, like teenagers or something? They had no idea what it meant to ring out a wash rack. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, what, I mean, had to do what do y'all bathe with? Like, I mean, and then I'm thinking, oh, they got these loofah things and all these Scrubby. scrubbies. And, I, and so I'm like, you know, when you do the dishes and they're like, what rag? Like, they don't. Oh, but they had no, they didn't have a concept of bringing out the tissue, right? You know that. You know, like when you mop. No, they don't do that either. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you got a slipper for. If you want to make a wrestler, mind getting a washcloth, a rotary phone, and a yeah. tape player. Because they'll dial all the numbers and then pick up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stack your knees and let them fall to the opposite side. So your knees are away from the knees and you do a counter pose for the twist you just completed. Okay, did you work? Yes. Yes, okay. That's what you wanted though, right? Yes. <laughs> we need some step though. All right, now come on back to center. Maybe take your knees towards your armpits and let your feet uh, reach to the sky. And it's called happy baby. <laughs> or you can do any movement that you feel like your body needs before you rest. And today for resting, I'm going to offer another way to rest. You do not have to take me up on it. It's just an offer. But we have these things called bolsters. And you can take those big fat blocks and you can prop the blocks up on your uh, mat. And then you can take this and like it, it's a, what do you call that? <laughs> and then you're going to put your hips at the bottom of it. And then you lean back over it like this. Mm. And that sometimes that feels really good to stretch this part of you out. Another option with the bolster, and again, these are just offers. You don't have to do any of these. <laughs> but and, you know, and and you can take two bolsters if you're um if it doesn't work to go this low. But the idea is you put the bolster with your knees on each side of it and you reach out and just lay there. <laughs> like that. There, would you like to try? We got lots of bolsters. If you want to try anything, if you don't want to try anything, you don't feel like you have to. That's the beautiful thing about yoga to do what is the right fit. We don't, if it's too spicy, you don't need it off the bar. You know the pain that you'll have later. So, yeah, but sometimes I just say screw it and do it anyway. <laughs> Does anybody need another one? How's that feeling? It feels good. I think so too. Now, what's really cool about that, Micah, is that those are the muscles that get shorter and tighter because of um, rolling over a computer and a steering wheel. And a... So you're talking about the muscles at the lower part of the back down here? No, these check oh, 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 yes. the oh, in those teams like, like serratus anterior, the pecs, um, all those muscles, they start to get tight and short. And that you see people with the four shoulders, you know, kind of walk. Like, watch people yeah. at communion. It's fascinating to watch people at communion, like with their postures and things. Mm -hmm. Here, now I'm just going to offer this. If you put this under your arms, you don't feel like you're hanging. What do you think? Kind of feels good with the stretch. It's not me. Yeah. yeah. How are you doing? You need blankets or something? You're good. No, I'm good, thank you. All right, I'll do a little music, a little quiet time, and then we will be ready to wrap.
big deep breath. Slowly, slowly, ever so slowly, begin to invite movement back into the body. You can roll your ankles, stretch your toes, stretch fingers, arms, hands. It might feel good to do full body stretches, just depending on how you're positioned. When you're ready, you can roll over to your side or find your way to your seated position, but really support yourself as you move. Place with a um a finger movement where you touch the tips of the uh fingers to the thumb, right? So first finger, middle finger, ring finger, and your last finger. We do it six rounds, well, six um, ver um, stanzas. And I just, I took something that I learned in yoga and made this part up, but it's helping me to teach kids about the Trinity and how it works in our lives. So you say, and you just touch, you say, God creator, God creator, God creator made me me. Jesus loves me, Jesus loves me, Jesus loves me, this I know. Spirit fill me, Spirit fill me, Spirit fill me with your power. Spirit, move me. Spirit, move me. Spirit, move me with your truth. Jesus saved me. Jesus saved me. Jesus saved me on the cross. God is with me. God is with me. God is with me all the time. And take breath out. And you reach your arms out to the side and up and over, palms together. Exhale as you bring the thumbs to the heart and fold at the waist with the nose. The light in me honors and appreciates the light that shines within you. Have a great afternoon. I forgot you don't do lavender. That's what it is, right? <laughs> so what if we did something else with it? Maybe or did, would you like a just melon? It's good for me. Or what about a cold cloth? Just a cold wet cloth? Mm -hmm. I just that feels so good. I mean that like, and I and halfway through I'll turn it over and put the other part on my eye or something. Maybe we should make some for her. Oh bye, Susan.